They tore their clothes. They tore their clothes. Put your hands together for group three. Yeah. Question number two goes for the rep of team four. Um, and according to Genesis three, Genesis 44, 3 to 5, after his brothers were sent on their way, Joseph sent his stewards after them. He was to ask them why they repaid good with evil and then find Joseph's silver cup. Besides being used to, for drinking water, what else did the stewards say the cup was used for? So that cup that was stolen was used for drinking water and something else. What's that thing? For divination. For divination. Put your hands together. Complete five marks for group four. Motorola, Motorola representing group four. All right. Um, Liverpool. I choose to call him. Um, Solomon representing the fifth group. Yeah? Ten. Question number ten goes to Solomon representing group five and this is in accordance with what's in genesis 44 18 and 33 which of benjamin's brothers offered to take his place and become joseph's slave judah judah did put your hands together for group five please put your hands together for group five please put your hands together for group five all right, at the end of this first initial round, uh, group two scored nothing. The rest got the ass. However, group three is leading with an additional bonus mark. Thank you. Put your hands together for them. Okay, so next round. Yeah. Question, nine. Question number nine goes to faithful faith of group one. Genesis 44 and verse 31. Judah said that if he and his brothers returned to their father... And he saw that Benjamin was not with them. What will happen? What will happen to their father? He will die. Their father will die at the news of not finding Benjamin with them. Group one now has five points again. Yeah. Group two. Omolara. Oh. Uh, group two. Omolara. Eight. Question number eight. You are alone here now. When you get back to your team, you people should fight it out with your mentor too. All right, question number eight, and that's in accordance with Fort Genesis 44, 27. I think you should get this. How many sons did Jacob have with his wife, Rachel? 30 seconds counting now. 30 seconds counting now. Why are you looking True. that way? You got the answer from that side. Question answered correctly. It is two. I'll give it to you. The next time I ask you a question, ma'am, please look in my direction. Thank you. Put your hands together for group two anyway. She got that right. So at least, Amola, you don't pass now. How far? Yeah? Question two. Question two is gone. Six. Question number six. And this is in accordance with... That's no swapping. This is no SIM card. They want to swap Omolara, and I say it's no SIM card because the SIMs are already registered. But can you agree with me? <laughs> um, okay, so she chose question six. That's the leading team here, at least for now. Um, Genesis 44, one, 14 to 16. After the silver cup was found, found in Benjamin's sack, his bro I think we have taken this question. Yes, we have taken question six. Seven. Question seven. Okay, so Genesis 44, 16, 17. Even though Judah said he and his brothers were Joseph's slaves, Joseph said only Benjamin would become his slave. What did he tell his other brothers to do? He told them to go back to their father. Okay. Counting 30 seconds? Yeah. It's 30 already. So she answered, he told them to go back to their father, however, to do something or in something. Do you want to take an attempt? Otherwise, she's getting a half of it. She won't get all. Are you Jega or is me Jega? Um, okay, so he told them to go back to their father in peace 
So we're going to give her 2.5 max. Put your hands together for her, however. Put your hands together for Bumi, group three. All right. Um, so, yeah. Question number four. When the steward searched, uh, when the steward, steward searched through the sacks of Joseph's brothers, in whose sack did he find the silver cup? Benjamin. In Benjamin's sack. Rock your hands together for group four. Yeah. Sister Motorayo. Before they begin to call her Motorola and say it's Uchi that gave them the power. Sister Motorayo. Question number 15. You cannot talk. Question number 16. I'm Steve, whining. Steve, one and five. Exactly. Question number one and five for the leading team already in this group. Um, in this league, rather. Why were the chief priests and teachers afraid to answer that John's baptism was from because men? They will be stoned to death. Because... They will be stoned. Yes, put your hands together for him. Put your hands together for group five. And at the end of this round, everyone got their answers rightly. Say Bumi, that's called just a fraction of that. Put your hands together for all of them. They've done wonderful. Faithful faith. Question 12. Faith wants question number 12. Did Jacob show any partiality when he gave his brothers beautiful suits of clothes? Did um, Jacob show any partiality when he gave his brothers beautiful suits of clothes? This is according to Genesis 45, verse 22. Yes. He oh, gave, yes. He gave, okay, Genesis chapter 45 recorded that when the brothers came, he gave unto Benjamin 300 pieces of silver and five apparels, five changes of apparels. Then he gave his father 10, 10 as his each. Apparel. So, yes, she was correct. She's correct. There was, it was Joseph, actually, and not Jacob. That's why I got confused a little. But she got her answer rightly, however. It shows that she studied um, the text. Can you put your hands together for her? All right, round three, group two, your time now. Amola, I have begged that you look at me. Okay. Are you choosing Four. for her? Are you in group two now? Fifteen. Fifteen is gone. He answered fifteen. 17. Question number 17 for beautiful, cool, and calculated Omolara. What did the tenants think would happen if they killed their hair? What did they think would happen if they killed their hair? Hair apparent. This is the question I have here. I didn't compose this. Okay, she wants the question repeated. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, what did the tenants think would happen if they killed the hair? Okay, not their hair. I think this is in Genesis 2014. Okay, so this is Luke 2014. Chris Composer. She doesn't know. You want to take a swipe at it? Tell me. Okay, they wanted the, the inheritance. They thought the inheritance would become theirs. They thought the inheritance will become theirs. Bumi is always getting this bonus. Omolara is always giving Bumi this bonus. Put your hands together for group three. That's um, bonus mark going to them again. And now your turn. Eleven. Question number eleven for group three. And it's Genesis 44, 34. 
what did Judah say would come upon his father if he returned without his brother Benjamin? Okay, it will bring shame to his father and his father will die. It's been taken? Oh, the question has been answered, sorry. I beg your pardon? It would bring... He'll bring what? I think he's in another form. This coin in another form. Yeah, I thought so too. It will bring shame upon his father's gray hair and his father will die. Um, that's, that's explaining what the answer I have here is. And I think it is very correct. It will bring misery upon their father. Group three, put your hands together for them. They need to hear your question. Question number 14. Sister Motunrayo, are you ready for question 14? Jesus asked the chief priests, the elders, and the teachers of the law about John's baptism. What did he ask? Luke 20 verse 4. Jesus asked the chief priests, the elders, and the teachers of the law about John's baptism. What question exactly did he ask? According to Luke chapter 20 and verse 4. Charles, what's that? Is it two hours you are giving her? <laughs> All right. The time is now up. You know. Okay, he asked um, the baptism of John, is it from heaven or from man? Correct. Put your hands together for group five as they get that bonus um, answer. So at the end of the third round, no, no, it's not yet the third round. 20. Yeah, it's not the end yet. Question what? 20. Question number. Question number 20. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jesus spoke a parable against the teachers of the law and the chief priests. Uh, they wanted to arrest Jesus immediately, but were afraid of. Luke 20, verse 19. So they were afraid of Dash. Jesus spoke a parable against the teachers of Option. the Jesus spoke against the teachers of the law and the chief priests. They, they wanted to arrest Jesus immediately, but we're afraid of. Your time is up. That's the timekeeper. Thank you. Do you, want to, do you want to attempt? Afraid of the people. They were afraid of the people, and group one gets that bonus mark. Put your hands together for them. Thank you so much. Um, this is the third round. I think we have... A final round, the fourth one to take right now. And at the end of this round, um, only, only group one and three got their full questions correctly, right? As well as bonus um, marks for group one and three. The others will need to try harder this time. Mama, he is the timekeeper right now. He is the timekeeper, Mama. He's counted it. Thank you. All right. The last round. Question 18. Question number 18. Charles, soon as I'm done, you count. Thank you. Um, what did the tenants do to the owner of the vineyard son? Luke 20, 15. They casted him into the vineyard and killed him. They casted him into the vineyard and Spied him. All right. Um, yeah? Question number four. It's gone? No question between one and ten again. Eighteen. Question eighteen just went. Nineteen. Question number nineteen. What did Jesus say the owner of the vineyard? We're repeating question. Can you take another one? She just answered it. 
Question number 24. What was the temple adorned with? Luke 21 verse 5. What was the temple adorned with? What did they decorate the temple with? Your time. You, you want to try? Um, sackcloth or apparel. Wrong still. Time up though. Yeah. Silver and gold. They adorned it with what? Silver and gold. It's wrong. It was adorned with um, beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God. Beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God. Yeah. Okay. 19. Gone? 17. 17. Gone. Sixteen. Is there repetition? In my opinion. Sixteen. Question sixteen. What was Jesus' reply to the chief priests? To the chief priests concerning who gave him the authority. What did Jesus reply to the chief priests regarding who gave him the authority? He told them that um, the authority was given to him by God. He said what? The authority was given to him by God. By his father in heaven. That's not correct. That's not correct. An attempt? An attempt? No. No, it's not possible. Only one person can attempt. Okay, so um, he said he would not tell them by what authority he did what he did in the parable of the tenants. Yeah, so you. Question number 21. What were the coins made of that the widow put in the offering? The coins the widow put in the offering, what were they made of? Time up. Yes, the coins. Might. 15 seconds though. Is it too Wrong. That's not correct. The coins were made of copper. Now your question. Sir, your question. 30. Question number 30. Where was Jesus teaching daily? Where was Jesus teaching daily? Where did he go to teach daily? Is it Olivet? I beg your pardon? Mount Olivet. Not Mount Olivet. You still have some time. Faith, yeah? At the temple. The temple is very, very correct. And that has brought us to the end of this month's round of um, our Bible League. Over and above everything, the fun, the competition, is the fact that um, we, need to, we need to study the scripture. What we are trying to, you know, activate in all of us, myself inclusive, is that we need, to, we need to read the word of God so that it can sit with us, so that we can have this much details. It's not necessarily that we don't know them, but you know, we many times do not pay attention to this kind of details. Uh, and the world will live in, we need to be able to convince some people with some of this kind of details. Do you understand? So we encourage every one of us, have you got this computed? 
we encourage every one of us to um, be a Bible student. That's the end game. End game at the end of the day. And at the end of um, this month's Bible League, um, from... Is this? All right, from, from behind, group four uh, has 10 points. Oh, sorry, I should have started with group two. Group two is leading in your body, we say, at the Iwa, with five points, followed very closely by group four with 10 points. I told some people to go and ask Baka. They were forming still. Um, they come next with 12 points. That's group five. And um, bright, beautiful, brainy Bumi in group three has polled 14 points, five points. All right. Faithful fate for group one. And they win this competition this month alone with 24 points. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> 